Good morning, everyone. Well, two days, two chances of severe storms in Wisconsin. Today, chance of severe storms in northern Wisconsin with a warm front. Tomorrow, a chance of severe storms in southern Wisconsin with a cold front. So let's break down both days starting at 8 a.m. this morning when it's going to be completely dry across the state. The earliest I think we could start to see some rain push into the state. It's going to be about 11 a.m. this morning for the northwestern part of the state. So at the earliest, maybe a stray shower popping up around Chippewa Falls, but still more likely even in Chippewa Falls, that you are going to be dry. That said, the activity is going to continue to fill in, particularly across the northern part of the state, as we work through the afternoon. Notice by 2 o'clock, more activity showing up. Maybe, again, we're going to try and see some isolate activity pop up in the southern part of the state, but I don't think it's going to be anything more of an isolate activity. There are definitely going to be some that are going to miss out in the rain in southern Wisconsin, but i got to keep the chance in, but a much better chance across the northern half of the state. But you see that little bit of activity showing up around the La Crosse, Winona area. Uh, that is a possibility. I'm also thinking that the severe threat is going to be limited to the northern part of the state. Any storms that do pop up in the southern part of the state, not severe. So what we're most concerned about in the northern part of the state is late afternoon and early evening hours. That is definitely going to be the peak of the activity. So this is our best opportunity of seeing some damaging wind and hail here at 5 o'clock. Notice even more showing up. And again, the activity trying to push south, but really struggling to do so. So there's going to be a difference in winds and temperatures in southern and northern Wisconsin today because it's going to be largely dry across the southern part of the state. We had high temperatures in most spots, upper 80s to around 90 degrees. In the northern part of the state, with that rain around, lots of low to mid 80s, maybe some just in the upper 70s. Also more wind in the northern part of the state. Even around the La Crosse, Winona area, probably going to see gusts around 30 miles per hour. But there'll be some spots in northern Wisconsin seeing those gusts 35 miles per hour or higher if you get a severe storm. Meanwhile, in southern Wisconsin, Madison, Racine, Kenosha, looking at those gusts 20, 25, so we'll just call it breezy. How about 8 o'clock? Notice still a lot going on in the northern part of the state. Still the chance for isolated showers and storms in southern Wisconsin, but still definitely more activity in the northern part of the state. And there could be multiple rounds of activity in the northern part of the state, so there's a chance of flooding in the northern part of the state as well. Probably not going to see any more severe storms at 11 o'clock, but could there still be heavy rain and lightning around? Yes, and so a chance for flooding will linger, perhaps, for the Green Bay area. I do think by 2 a.m., though, the chance for any more heavy rain temporarily coming to an end until the cold front starts to push in. So the severe threat today is going to be north of Winona, La Crosse. So it does include Green Bay, Chippewa Falls, more of an outside chance there for seeing severe storms. Greatest chance, Rhinelander and areas up to the north. But anywhere in the shades of green or yellow, worst case scenario, wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour, perhaps up to quarter size hail, and yes, possibility for a few flooded roads. Not worried about any of that, Winona, La Crosse areas south and the rain chance lower as well just expecting isolated activity but not for tomorrow rain chance going up for southern wisconsin with the cold front that'll be pushing in fact cold front already coming through chippewa falls and the northern part of the state 8 a.m tomorrow morning now this is mostly going to be showers a couple of weak storms but we'll probably have a better chance of storms as we get later into the morning and particularly into the afternoon hours so here we are at 11 a.m best chance of rain probably around the La Crosse area maybe Portage at this point. And then for a lot of southern Wisconsin, it does look like the peak of the activity is going to be early to mid-afternoon hours. And we're just going to have to keep an eye on it, particularly in the far southeastern part of the state, because it might just be warm and humid enough as that cold front arrives that we could see a couple of severe storms. I do think the chance is low. Most likely it's just going to be heavy rain and lightning, but we're going to have to keep a chance in there. Uh, notice it probably will end up being a little bit warmer in the northern part of the state tomorrow just because there's going to be a lack of rain. Uh, it looks like the afternoon hours are going to be dry, uh, so it actually probably be a little bit warmer. It's going to take a while for that cooler air to work in. So low to mid 80s in southern Wisconsin, mid to upper 80s for northern Wisconsin, breezy across the entire state. And I do think the chance for any severe storms is going to come to an end by 5 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, and then there'll just be a period of some isolated showers and weak storms. But no more severe storms to worry about. And as it stands right now, the severe threat may very well be limited to the far southeastern part of the state. That's what we're keeping the risk in right now. Now, this could still fluctuate a little bit, so I'll give you another update tomorrow morning. But right now, we're concerned about the potential for severe storms tomorrow for places like Lake Geneva, Racine, Kenosha, Milwaukee, on up to Sheboygan. Right now, Beaver Dam, Madison, Portage, Baraboo, not included. They're awfully close. 
all depend on the exact timing of this front. And for all of southern Wisconsin, most likely all we're going to see is that front works over us uh, tomorrow is going to be heavy rain and lightning, even for these places highlighted in green here. But for those shaded in green, far southeastern parts, they do have to keep the chance in right now for wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour and up to penny size hail.